It's an old carrier. <laughs> Alright guys, I don't know if you can see in there, but everything's all cooked. The transformer's bad. Look at the way they did the, the wire in here. We're using it. I took all the measurements down here and all. See where they can match up. I can cut the supply down here and the return down if I have to. The, the new unit's probably going to be wider, longer than this. We'll see. Some things aren't worth fixing, and I don't think it's worth me going through the trouble of trying to fix this beast. Not at this point. That's an old unit, it's probably 25 years old at least, or good 20. 25 years old, so we're gonna give her a price on changing it out. I got the breakers off in the panel. Mummified mouse, look at that. Looks like a, look like a little bit of a mummy there. Yeah. Alright, the air handle is over there. It's going to be cool down here because it's in the crawl space, so this is going to be cool. I got to go disconnect that unit. Connected it. I pulled all the guts out of it. You know, make it easier to move. Like the new one over there, I gotta bring over here and get it up on them, on them rises, and see what I'm gonna do here. All right, guys, I got this. Uh, I just spin this one around the other way. I got the supply all turned in, tied in. That was simple. But this here, I'm going to have to offset this. You can see it's quite a bit of an offset here. I'm going to have to come out and offset uh, the return here. I'm going to have to offset, pin all this in, tie all this in, cross break it all, and uh, I put all this lock here to receive my panning. Um, I put a I put a door on the end here, a little little filter door. Uh, takes a double one inch filter. It's designed for these uh, units. It's a pretty nice little. So it's uh, Friday. So I'll probably work on this today and tomorrow. If I don't finish it and Monday come back, the electrician will be come Monday and hook up the wiring and see if I can get some of this tied in. This is gonna be this is gonna be a little tough, but I'll get it. We will get it. I got my sheet metal over there. I got a roll of sheet metal. I gotta get my uh, Hensley bender down here and pad and start measuring this stuff up. But. 
the supply on the other side to do is just bend this lip over here and the rest of the three sides are just screwed on the end. I'll just tape it up good. Be fine. Fit right in there. Fit right in there. Nice. It's a rud unit. Uh, three ton heat pump. Alright guys, I got this piece bent. And I got the top piece in also. I gotta do that back side and the bottom yet. I gotta crawl under the son of a gun here and get over there and I'll do that drop piece first and then I'll do this one. But then once I'm done I'll uh, tape it all up. Or pookie and I'm gonna have to get some covering to cover it. This one will tape up also. It's good to do the cross bends this way, it don't pop, you know, they won't pop. And that's what I like to use is the three quarter screws, they're really pulling good, the half inch ones, they don't seem to pull in the back of the, um, the S lock. So the three quarter goes in and pulls in both sides really good, so I like to use these three quarter ones, just with the point, I don't like the... I like the ones with the point. I don't like the ones with the self-drilling head on them. Them are the ones I like. So I got half and I got three quarter. I use the three quarter ones, you know, going through the S-lock. Um, really pulls in good. You guys can see how the three quarter really pulls in good. It doesn't belly it out. Anybody that does any sheet metal work will know the half inch kind of never really pulls in good. So that's why I've been going with the three quarter. They really, they really work well with the S-lock. So rud unit. Well, you'll see I'm starting to build the transition here and working my way out. I'm going to put a piece of S-lock along there and. It's gonna do the bottom next. Tie that bottom piece in there. This little door works out pretty good though. With a, I kind of like that. Oh, the other one, obviously, the other one, the pan was on the other side, so I had to switch it over. I had to get it on this side, so I had to pull the whole unit this way by about eight inches I guess so that's what that offset was probably about an eight inch offset a lot of guys get intimidated by duct work it's not really that hard if you take one piece at a time you know measure it all and cross break it and stuff it's not that hard it's not that hard there's yeah, the bottom there sides See how it offsets that way. It's about a seven inch offset, but it come out good. Good enough. The bottom piece when I did the cross bends, I cross bend it on the you know towards the inside on unfortunately, but it ain't gonna matter. It's all gonna get wrapped. It's all gonna get wrapped with duck duck wrap anyway, so <coughs> When you're doing a cross bench, you're gonna bend it from the inside with the Hinsley bender. You're gonna mark it and do all your bends from the inside. If you bend it from the outside, it, it, you know it's gonna go in. No good. So well, you're gonna just tape that up or pokey whatever I decide to do. All right. Looks like I'm gonna have to run another line set. I'm thinking. I have to get another line set. I have to find myself a good. I gotta go over there, so I might go as the crow flies to make it as short as possible. We'll have to see. I'll probably go over. I'll have to find a nice route here and uh, see where I'm gonna go with it. 
kind of glad I'm changing the line set. Look at all the oil that was in the line set. A lot of oil. It's only three quarter. I'm going to run a seven eighths. It's a kind of a long run here. Oil here. Quite a bit of oil. So I'm kind of glad I'm changing it. It's a uh, it's a long run for the three quarter, so I'm gonna run the seven eighths. The condenser, the, the heat pump, seven eighths anyway. So, and this evaporator is three quarter. So, all right, guys, I was able to get the air handle in the truck here, in the ice cream truck. The ice cream truck's getting full of metal. I got the condenser here in the back. I got that in the heat pump, I should say. The rest of this cardboard, I'll just throw that right over the top. The line said I stripped all the covering off it. And, uh, this is all metal here. She fit right inside the ice cream truck. Couldn't believe it. Yeah, the heat pump went right in there. I usually bring my cart with me, but it fit in there. I'll get the rest of this in here. It's, uh... It's Friday about 2 o'clock. I'll come back tomorrow, which is Saturday, and I'll run the line set, pull a vacuum, and then Monday i got to meet the electrician back here to, uh, he's got to wire this thing all up, and we'll get it going. At least I got, at least I got the air handle set. I got it all tied in. Um, I got the sheet metal done. i got to bring some duck wrap. i got to get a line set, a 7 8 line set at the supply house either. Uh, probably go by in the morning and grab the line set. And uh, I got to get some pump rises, heat pump rises for that heat pump. Also, the guy sent me flipping uh, heat pump rises for a mini split. Ain't no good. Yeah, these are the rises he sent me for. These are like for a mini split, man. These things are wimpy. I guess I could use them, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna get the other pump ups. I'll go by and get them. I had to cut all this, um, all these shrubs down. It's like all preckers, man. I gotta watch this stuff. Nice pad, so we'll get it up on. It's got a little scroll compressor in it. Looks really good. And I got a, um, I got a 16 cubic inch filter dryer for it. Uh, I don't know what size comes in this, but I got a nice. A reversible one. I like to go with the 16 cubic inch one. I picked one of them up, but I gotta go with another line set. You can see this is 7 8 coming out of here. So, I'm gonna uh, eat the shit sandwich and run a new line. This mouse here looks like a mummy. Mummified. I got another dead mouse there. That one's starting to decay, though. Some of them decay, and some of them, like, they mummify. It's weird. Oh, yeah, there was a lot of oil that come out of that line set. I was surprised how much was in there. I want to probably run the line set. Yeah, I want to run the line set right along this beam and then turn and, and kind of go... It's a crawl space, so when I kind of go right there as I, as the crow flies right along this duck. I'll try to keep the line as short as possible. I'm probably looking at maybe, I don't know, 60 feet maybe. I'll need, so I'll have to get a, a 50 and a 35 on a line set. And I'll be back tomorrow. That's the reason I bought the ice cream truck right there. See the gross vehicle weight? 14.5. A regular van, I carry too much stuff in there. I can't, it doesn't take it. And I'm basically, I'm maxed out with the weight now, so. That's why. And you notice ice cream trucks don't have dual tires in the back. This is a heavy duty truck. All aluminum body. Look at all the licenses this clown has. I got more. I just don't get them on there. I gotta put them on there. I got 10 now. 
Anyway, that's why I bought the ice cream truck. That's why. So I got this faucet. Like a delta almost. Dishmaster 2000. Pretty cool. Yeah, stuff all fits in here and room to spare. So that's why I like this truck. I can walk in here, I can load it, load it up with stuff after I'm done with a job. And this is a beautiful truck. 